friends, hello my Aries! <laughs> it is Tori, the hope dealer of Guided Intuition Babies, and I am here to do your monthly spiritual guidance, all right, for the month of June. This is what your guides, Jesus, Allah, the divine, whatever it is you believe in, okay? This is what they want you to pay attention to in the month of June. So I know that our setup looks a lot different don't worry once i'm done with this guys oh my god i'm so sorry <clears throat> once i'm done with this i'm gonna go ahead and cue in our regular setup but i wanted to do something extra um for the month of june because i really feel like june is going to be a liberating month okay so i just don't want to subject it to my um the regular map, the map out that I do for you guys, I wanted to do something extra just to really let it flow. But before we even get there, I just honestly want to tell each of you beautiful souls that are clicking on this video that y'all know how my relationship goes with Aries. Um, one of my most liked videos, <laughs> I really feel that like threw me, um, took me to an another level. It started with um, Aries May reading in 2018. That being said, I really wanted to give the divine a space to flow um, anything that you truly need to focus on um, in the month of June. And then we'll go ahead and go into your spiritual guidance for the month. So I do want to let everybody know that this is a general reading. So keep that in mind that it may resonate and it may not. However, there are so many sweet souls that are sharing their gifts. You're going to find someone who picks up on your energy. Okay, don't sweat it thank you guys for liking commenting sharing okay subscribing to my channel doing all those social media things it is so appreciate um appreciated and i just love you guys so i'm going to stop gibbering on and just go ahead and get into this um message that i'm feeling in the month of june aries as you can see from this title y'all should know by now that i don't make the names up for my my titles um spirit gives them to me and in the month of June, we have breaking up with your fears. That is where a lot of you are at. I don't know what has happened or what has shifted, but something is clicking. You get what I'm saying? Like you are so over. It. And I feel like for some of you, maybe you were put into a tight space, like you were backed up against a wall. And we know that the you can't back up anymore. So the only way that you can go all right, is forward. So I really feel like a lot of you are facing your fears. You're breaking up with fears. You're making a conscious decision to push past it to your dreams, to your goals, whatever it is that you desire. And I feel like this is why this month is so liberating for you. Maybe you've let fear cripple you. You've let fear of being hurt, fear of putting yourself out there, fear of not being successful, whatever it is, Aries, you are moving away from fear. Like y'all breaking up, like for real, for real. Like it ain't no play, play breakup. <laughs> it's like, no, we done. We too done, you know? And I just want to say that is so amazing. Um, Being that you are flowing um in that, I really feel like you are getting a message from, I'm feeling like it's a message of play, okay? Allow yourself to have some fun this month, okay? Um, I really feel like a lot of you have been focusing in, zoning in, just remember to play, remember to enjoy the moment, okay? I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of, um, you know, fulfillment doing it that way. Now, let's see what else that the divine wants to talk about for you guys. Ooh, we have allow and we have strength, okay? So when I see allow, um, it was funny that it came out reverse, okay? I feel like there has been some things that maybe you desire or you've wanted, okay? But fear has not allowed these things to come in. So you can definitely start seeing a lot of doors opening once you decide to just go, once you decide to say, just throw caution to the wind and walk through it, okay? Um, just knowing that you have the strength, I really feel like this is going to allow some, some door, something that you've been waiting on, something that you've been wanting, it's going to click and make sense, okay? in the month of June when you push past fear, okay? Just know that um, and really come into a space of compassion, all right? Um, I really feel like for some of you, even when I see this card, compassion, 
I truly feel like Aries gets a bad rep. Um, people define you guys. I and it's crazy because I'm saying people because I've never come into a contact with that with an Aries. And me and my best friend, um, even though we're not talking right now, um, <laughs> um, even when we are at odds. I've still never seen this side of her. I feel like you guys get a bad rep of, you know, just being um, hot-headed or being mean or being like, you know, rrr, rrr. but that's not who at all um, that Aries is. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of um, compassion. I really feel like in the month of June, you're going to be real, your, um, your strength I feel like your dominant side and your feminine side, like, you know, your softness, you're going to be integrating that. You get what I'm saying? You can be just as you as hard, you are soft. I really feel like that's going to put a lot of balance. So you're really going to be flowing from your softness in the month of June. And maybe that's what you were fearing. Okay. Because maybe you being open and compassionate and, you know, really showing that heart, um, Aries, it has caused you maybe some problems and hurt. Believe me, I know, okay? Because <laughs> believe it or not, what people like to say about Sagittarius is we put everyone before ourselves. Like, that's the thing. They think that we're so, like, self-centered or self-absorbed. But that is a lie. Any Sagittarius will tell you. You get what I'm saying? Like, when we love, we love. So I can definitely identify with you. But I really feel like the more that you flow from your softness, um, Aries, in the month of June, it's really going to allow and open some things to come your way that you truly desire. Then maybe you've kind of closed off trying to like, you know, wear like a, you know, like mask it in like, ooh, like hardness or something, like cover it with strength. But you really know that it takes true strength to, to show your softness, to be compassionate, okay? To really, um, you know, let that go. I feel like for some of you, it's in general with family, friends, but it's a lot of allowing love in too, okay? Allowing a person in your intimate space that you probably didn't really want to let into your intimate space, <laughs> Aries. But I really see that. Also, I feel like with you really confronting your fears, we have clarity. There's going to be a lot of things that are very clear, crystal clear to you. Trust yourself and trust your intuition is what I'm hearing from the divine, Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to pull a card right here from my sacred um, symbols oracle deck for each of these beautiful souls that are watching divine. What would you like them to know most? OK, about the month of June. OK, what would you like them to know about the month of June? What do you feel would be beneficial to them and is very important to them? OK, that can bring them more fulfillment or whatever it is that you want them to know. <laughs> All right, let's see what the divine has to say to all you beautiful souls that are watching, okay? I'm going to stop right one more <laughs> here. All right. Divine masculine. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm, mm -hmm. And then on the bottom, we have jealousy. So... What this is, remember I told you that understanding that just as you are hard, okay, you can allow yourself to be soft. I really feel like I told you, you've kind of really, you flow in this energy, okay? You really flow in this energy because you're trying to max a hurt or, you know, or trying to avoid yourself from being hurt. But I'm telling you, Aries, go ahead, open up. Let go of that fear of feeling like if you show your heart or if you show any kind of compassion that you're going to be taken advantage of. But I also do want to read this card to you guys. Okay, I'll read this for you. It says the divine masculine, okay, is the embodiment, the embody, the embodiment, can I speak, of logic, direct action and strength in his most evolved aspect. He represents the builder protector and the guardian drawing this card can symbolize that the divine masculine energy okay is needed to balance your current situation ah now i get it so really flowing in this energy okay coming from a place of love and compassion not old wounds okay so you can really flow in your divine masculine but come in a place of love and light you get what I'm saying? Come in, in, in a, what am I want to 
like a higher energy verse out of flowing in your divine masculine from your ego. Does that make any sense? If you do that, um, if you do that, Aries, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be very, it's going to be beneficial to you. Okay. Is what I am hearing from the divine. It also says, um, it can also represent father, brother healing and the healing of relationships with the divine masculine in your life. So anybody that you look as a, a father figure, brother, a male figure, a strong male energy, I really feel like in the month of June, a lot of you can be looking to heal these relationships or release them. You get what I'm saying? Like releasing, letting go, forgiving, moving on. And maybe that fear, you know, has really kept you closed off, really kept you from, um, you know, you know, sending compassion, love. You get what I'm saying? So I really feel like, oh, wow, that's so that is very liberating for you, um, for a lot of you, um, Aries. That's very liberating in the month of June. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and go into your monthly spiritual guidance and I will see you over there. I also want to slide this in, um, Aries. I really feel like by you pushing past fear, um, it is going to open, it's going to free up some financial um, situation here. I really feel like it's going to open a door, an opportunity for you to make some real money, some real moolah, some real green, honey. <laughs> All right, my loves, and we are back. If you are new to my channel, okay, how I typically do my monthly spiritual guidance is I like to give you an overall for the month. I like to touch on what the divine wants you to know about love in the month of June. I like to see what you're going to be thinking about, what's going to be really staying at the forefront of your mind, or what spirit is going to be downloading onto your mind. I like um, to give you any information that the divine feels like if you know it will bring you more fulfillment this month. Then I like to pull a word just to see what does the divine want you to really focus on when you're making decisions, when you're thinking, when you're reflecting before you act, okay, or react, what do you need to bring into focus? And I also want to pull something major that's going to be happening to you guys in the month of June. So first thing first, <laughs> okay, as I was shuffling the cards, Sage, and getting ready um, even with every category in your life, okay, um, Aries, there are a lot of things that you are ready for. It's ripe and at the picking, okay? But I really feel like a past energy or, you know, what happened in the past, um, you may let that, I feel like when those triggers rise up, you may run from an opportun opportunity, okay? Whether it's in love and finance, it's just really not feeling like maybe like you're worthy of it for some of you for some of you i just feel like you're trying to avoid something but what i want to let you know because all that don't even matter but what i really want to let aries know right now in this moment there is so much greatness in you every single one of you souls that are aries that i have come in contact with you greatness is written on your forehead that's the first thing that i can pick out of your energy you are destined to be great I'm talking about here to do some amazing, life-changing, life-shifting shit, okay? So I need you to push past that fear, whether it's in love, in a relationship, in a career, something you're passionate about in your everyday life, go ahead, go to those places that may be a little hard sometimes for us to confront. But I promise you, when you do that, you are literally deciding um, to, you know, to cast fear to the side and go anyway. Okay. Every time that you do that, you're breaking away. You're breaking up with fear and really moving yourself into a relationship with your dreams like dead ass. Okay. So first thing that I want to look at, okay, is something major that's going to be happening to you. The first thing we have Aries is you have the ace of rods. Okay. There is a brand new beginning, a swift, a swift beginning. Okay. For the better, that's like an opportunity that's going to come out of nowhere, okay? It could be in love, it could be in finances, but I feel like, and it's not going to take all that. But the thing is, okay, and I feel like this is going to be magical. Okay? Anytime we see a rod, we know that it represents magic, okay? It's something on a divine level, a divine opportunity is presenting itself, okay, for you. 
But the thing is, um, some of you are clinging to the past or clinging to a certain story or clinging to a, a way that you see yourself. And um, I'm here to let you know that that has gone, that is past, okay? That's no le no neither here nor there, or that's no, ne no either, that's not you anymore, okay? Whatever happened, happened. You healed, you're mended, you're whole. Despite how you may feel like you're not, I'm telling you, you are. But the thing is, sometimes when, when, when these deep hurts happen to us, guys, it sticks in our subconscious mind. This is why I love affirmations, okay, and meditating because it helps clear it out. But you notice if you're put into certain situations, triggers may fell up. It's from the past, but it's not your current reality. So there's a grand opportunity. For a lot of you, it's in love and in, in a, a finance to improve your finances, okay? But I really feel like, um, or even like healing a, a ancient family wound, like really healing and coming together. But I feel like you're clinging to something that it's time to let go of, okay, in order to receive this new beginning. It's time for you to really come to um, come into the night of swords in the month of June and cut away that shit. Realizing who you are. A night comes to save the day. And I really feel like this is you taking back your power. Okay, Aries. Um, but the thing is, nobody can do this for you. You have to do it. Okay. And with the two of wands, we know that it's in, it's a more of a spiritual internal decision that you have to make. It's something that's internal. It's not so much in the physical, like a two of pentacles. That's a physical decision. You have to make this decision within, okay? But I feel like when you do that, there's going to be this new opportunity that's going to, um, amazing opportunity that's going to be hit, you're going to be hit with in the month of June. But it's all about you deciding to break up with fear. Let go to fear. Stop clinging, stop holding on to that story. And I, I, when I tell y'all this, know that I tell you from a place of love and understanding. If don't nobody understand you, Aries, I promise you I do. But you cannot cling to the story anymore. It's not who you are. You have evolved. You have shifted. You have changed. You have changed. Okay. Go forth. Get your stuff. Okay. So now we're going to just look at what is crowning um, you guys in the month of June? So what's crowning some of you guys? We have sentimental feelings. So somebody is somebody is in their emotions. <laughs> okay. I really feel like um, there could be a person that has piqued your interest. Okay. There could be a person that you desire. Okay. Um, for some of you are really like strengthening a bond if you're even in a relationship or even if it's not romantically coming back together, you know, mending something, um, stepping out, um, really letting somebody know how you feel, Aries. But I feel like this is where you have to decide to break up with fear and really just listen to your intuition and not overanalyze it, not cling to an old story, not overthink it, but just really move forward. Um, because I feel like whatever you're fearing, it's going to pan out good. Okay. But you have to put yourself out there. Okay. You have to be willing to show your softness. Okay. All right. <laughs> and I know this is scary. But I promise you, you can do it. Also, we have heavenly signs. I really feel like the divine, your spirit guides, and also for some of you, a loved one that has crossed over are really going to be sending you signs and wonders, okay? Really going to be communicating with you through um, nature, letting you know that you're not alone, okay? Um, I feel like this is someone that, um, for some of you, you were very close to this person. And um, I really feel like they're going to be sending you beautiful sign. So if you just see like a rush of butterflies fly by, if you see like a flower that's really sticking out, know that this is a loved one communicating to you about whatever it is that you're wanting to know. Okay. You're going to find the answer in signs like that. Also, we have self care that's going to be crowning you in the month of June. So like I said, um, breaking up with your fears. Okay. I really feel like this is going to open up a lot of doors for you to go to some places, um, Aries, that you may have been scared to go before and really release these old triggers so you can really show up and be who you are at your core, okay? So any any attention that you give to self-care, working out, 
eating some high vibing foods, okay, really maybe taking yourself out for a piece of cake, okay, and some coffee, just indulging your, just really indulging yourself in yourself, okay, really um, loving on you, you know what I'm saying, it will be beneficial for you in the month of June, it's going to be crowning you, it's really going to help you push past fear and really take these grand opportunities that are coming your way and open up and express yourself to someone that you definitely love okay or you want to get to know and, and build something with also we have relationship dynamics I feel like for some of you you're going to be entering into a relationship of some sort I also feel like for some of you some relationships could your yeah, um the mind dy- <laughs> the dynamics could be shifting or changing um pulling away okay really pulling away to go within yourself um also with the forgiveness and the family okay there could be like you releasing a, a old situation that you've probably been holding on to, a story that you've been holding on to, Aries. And I see you really mending this relationship. For some of you, you're going to physically um, come back together with this person. But for some of you, it's going to be more on a spiritual note. You just really letting go. You just really forgiving and moving forward for your better. Okay. Now, with relationship dynamics, we have leaving. Okay. I really feel like some of you are going to be making a decision to move away from a relationship that was not ideal for you, okay? Or I feel like some of you are contemplating um, leaving a hometown, a city, moving back somewhere or starting a new somewhere. Um, I really feel like that will be great for you. It'll be a lot of opportunities for you to advance, okay? So just keep that in mind. So that's what's crowning you. Now, what I can't wait to do is get over here because we got to have a talk. Yes, Aries, we have to have a talk. Okay, now, now, I didn't dealt with about 10 of y'all and came in here. I know for sure in the month of May, Aries, you've got a personal reading from me. <laughs> and the same thing is coming up. And now here it is in June and the same thing is coming up. So we got to have a talk. We got to have a big sister, little brother, big brother, big sister, little sister conversation here. Okay. All right. So here we go in love. Okay. We're about to turn these over. So a lot of you Aries, there is an opportunity. Okay. For some of you, um, I really do hear wedding bells. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, but I'm mostly talking to my singles or you ones that's like mingling, playing, playing, but y'all ain't really like doing nothing. Y'all ain't shaking the cage. You ain't getting no commitment. And anytime a commitment come, you, you don't scary on back to where you at. You get what I'm saying? You know who I'm talking to. <laughs> All right. So I really want to talk to you guys. I really feel like in the month of June, there is an opportunity to really take a relationship, a friendship, a situation ship, a boo ship, some ship, new ship to a next level. OK, right here with this wedding, uh, you know, this situation involves marriage. Um, now that I'm dealing with singles, this just basically means a, a strong foundation, something to build on, like coming together. OK, sealing a deal. OK, now let me tell you what Aries likes to do. And I love y'all. I love you. But I I'm, you have to let this story go um, with all this healing. If you have been with me. This, this whole, you know, this whole year we've been riding this thing out, even because healing is so beautiful, like something that you've been hurting for, for like the last five years, <laughs> you can literally heal it in two weeks. Do you understand me? Um, so I really feel like with, there's a, there's a connection that you guys can make in the month of June. Um, I really feel like for some of you, you really vibe with this person. You're really there. You're really doing it. However, um, for some reason, you just can't allow yourself to go there and you, we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. But here's the thing with you, Aries. Yes, and once upon a time, this was true. This was true with you. However, we also have deception right here because this is the story. This is what you tell yourself that you have to work on you, that you have to like, you can't really be open to that. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to heal. Like, no, no, no. That's, that's a story that you tell yourself. Okay. Now for some of you, you probably could be needing healing, but for some of y'all, y'all know, you know what I'm talking about and you know who I'm talking to. Don't make me sit up here and look like I don't, you know, like what's she talking about? You know, you know, um, I feel like you hide behind this. This is what you hide behind. 
so you don't have to get into something serious. You know, like, because you, you start thinking about, oh my God, like, you know, I got too much going on. Believe me, I used to do this too. Sagittarius, hello. You know, I just start my business. Like, I'm an entrepreneur. Like, I got, I got to be about my bag and my coins. Like, this is very true. You know, like, I don't have time. I need somebody to understand. Like, I will come up. If your shoes got a scuff on it, I'd be like, oh, no, I just can't do it. Your shoes. I mean, we, we can come up with, in our mind, logic ideas of why we can't go forth. Okay? But it's stemming from a place in the past. You're protecting yourself. And, um, you know... At one point in time, you protecting yourself like this was needed, okay? Because you had to build that those boundaries about yourself and able to tell when a person is for you, when a person is not for you, okay, um, Aries? But I feel like now you're coming to a place where it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Now, if you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Then this is not for you, but a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. When someone get close, when someone gets to uncovering, when someone like lifts up your, oh, hell no, back up, back up, what you doing? Okay, nope, you're done, we're, we're through. Oh, we can't do this, it's just it's too much. You know, I got a lot going on right now. You you know, you know who you are, okay? I feel like it's really time for you to just trust the universe, trust the divine, okay? I really feel like this person that's gonna come in, that's coming in, okay? Um, for some of you, it's soft. They could be letting you know softly. For some of you, they're letting you know loudly, okay? It could be something innocent that really has a great potential um, to, to sprout something beautiful, okay? Um, but it is going to take you to have some strength, okay? You know, to see yourself as ready with the King of Pentacles because this is you, Aries. This is where you're sitting. There's so much value, so much goodness, so much greatness in you, okay? And I really feel like um, a lot of you, it's, it's time for you to offer up that beautiful heart, okay? Because I feel like this person is different, okay? This person is definitely different. You don't have to be scared, okay? But it's all about what you choose to focus on with this three of wands, okay? Just really being present in this moment, not overthinking like, you know, about the past, what happened in the past or overanalyzing, like trying to create this whole life with them. Just to really stay in this moment real right now, okay? That's that's the key there. Okay, my Aries babies. I'll, I hope y'all love me after that. <laughs> if you still love me, please put a heart down in the comment section, <laughs> okay? So um, anything that spirit wants you to know in the month of... Um, June that can ultimately bring you more fulfillment um, Aries we have worry okay and then we have peace so to me it's like you just really trusting okay and with peace I see love remember how I said um, t um really tapping into that softness um anything that you do in love anytime you go into the frequency of love all right it has to come out okay um, as you desire it, okay, or for the better of all involved, because love is truly conquers all, okay, it does not come back void, so remember that in the month of June, now the next thing that we have is transformation, understanding that things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing is going on with inside you, so even if you run, okay, don't beat yourself up. Don't say, oh my God, I've messed it up. It's not going to come back around. No, no, no. Because what is for you will not miss you. But what I'm saying is you do have a great opportunity in the month of June to build something long, long lasting and very sturdy, a very good foundation than what you've had in the past. Okay. Understanding that your finances and something that you're very passionate about is definitely under transformation right now. Okay. And so with this transformation that's happening, okay, in your life, we have mirror. Who or what is triggering you? You may see some p triggers like when you time to step out of your comfort zone, time, time to really you've broke up with fear and really step into whatever you're doing. You might get a little scared. You might the past may try to come back up. What I need you to know is to go in love. All right. Trust the process. Know that nothing, everything works out for your well being and your good. OK. So the word that the divine wants you, Aries, to keep at the forefront of your mind in the month of June is integrity, okay, and communication. So as long as you're being truthful, communication, you're doing it in your softness, <laughs> all right, communicating yourself, um, really flowing from your, your masculine energy and your feminine energy at the same time, getting that balance, okay, speaking your truth, standing in your truth and communicating that, all right? 
is 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 really going to help you gain the most out of the month of June, okay? So I love my Aries so freaking much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, do all those beautiful things. Thank you guys for donating to my channel. It is so appreciated. All of my information on how to contact me, reach me, anything that you need to know, you can find in the description box below. Go have an amazing June and I will catch you guys on my channel. Mwah! Take care.